Hey, it's Scott Orn at Cruise Consulting, and today I'm talking about the danger of letting a local, not startup specialized tax accountant mess up your R&D tax credit. And I kind of chuckle, but it's I'm chuckling out of frustration uh, because we see this a lot. Like companies come to us and they kind of like, they kind of know something might not be right with their accounting or taxes, but they don't, they can't put their finger on it. And so, and then we get in there and as part of our onboarding process, we look at all the accounting, we look at all the tax returns, and we very consistently see that unfortunately founders have gone to like kind of their local CPA who doesn't really know much about startups at all. Um, and oftentimes it's just like, hey, they, the, the CPA has an office next to their favorite lunch place. Or they looked, you know, they did a quick Google search and they found someone who does it really cheaply or something like that. Um, and not a lot of thought or planning went into that decision. It just kind of happened because they were trying to, you know, finish something on their to-do list. But the real world ramifications of this are that oftentimes the local accountant doesn't actually even know about the research and development tax credit that can offset your payroll taxes as a startup. Because startups are doing real engineering. They're building real technology, uh, real research and development. And so unfortunately, a lot of the founders are missing out on, you know, 50, 60 thousand dollar credits that they could easily get if they work with someone more sophisticated. And I'm not even saying you have to work with Cruise, like obviously working with Cruise is good, but working with someone who really owns and knows the tax process um, is really valuable. And I also think I should put in this bucket, like the, the local accountants are someone who often mess this up, but also there's a lot of accounting firms out there that say they do tax credits or say they do taxes, but really what they're doing is outsourcing it to someone else who may not know or may not be sophisticated or may not be able to track this stuff, or they outsource it to another outsourcer. And so you're like two or three degrees of separation away from someone who's actually doing your taxes and the ability to know if they're actually doing it right, if they're actually capturing your financials correctly, if they're catching all the nexus, the states that you're actually operating in. This is all stuff that we see done incorrectly constantly. And so I really just want, you know, if you're listening to this video, just, just really give us some thought. If you're working with someone who's kind of the local CPA or the local accountant, um, you, you probably are gonna be better off working with someone who's entirely focused on venture capital backed startups, um, who can help you through the process and especially help you capture the R&D tax credit. And, you know, we sign the tax return, we prepare the R&D tax credit, we have our name, our reputation, and our CPA license at risk if it's done incorrectly. And so we really care about doing it the right way. So I hope that helps. The whole goal here is to make sure you get the most tax benefits, the most savings possible. And unfortunately, sometimes when you look, work with the local, not super sophisticated CPA, you're just not gonna get that. So if you have any questions, hit us up, cruiseconsulting.com. We're always happy to answer your accounting questions, tax questions, tax credit questions. Anything you got, we'll be there for you and happy to answer. Hope that helps, thanks.